Hey everyone, how is it going? Being an English teacher, I usually come across many students who say to me, I, I, I can't learn English. I, I can't learn it. I don't have this capacity. And uh, I think I'll never be able to understand English or speak it. And then they say that they've already been to many English courses, they've already started many courses, but never actually finished them, never got to, to the last stage and then uh, took a final test and, and got a certificate. So wh why does this happen? Well, some people, they, they strive for perfection too hard they want to be perfect, they, they want to be the best at something. Other people think that life is too short to worry about petty things like this. Other people are terrified of failure. Probably you know someone who, who is afraid of failing at something. Well, procrastinating that is, uh, postponing for another day what you should start doing today, was observed by a psychologist named Bluma Zygarnik. She was, she was born Lithuanian, and uh, this was her thesis in the late 1920s. She observed that Waiters working in a restaurant, they seemed to remember complex orders and this allowed them to deliver to the customer the right combination of food. However, this information vanished as soon as the food was actually delivered. She observed that the uncompleted orders, they seemed to stick in the waiters' minds until completion. And uh, this reflects on our lives as when we have something to be completed, when you have to do something, could it be a, could be a report or it could be start learning English, could be start learning something, reading something. When you have something to do, we may lose sleep, we may spend some hours thinking about it and getting stressed because this stresses our body until we actually go there and do what we have to do. And as soon as we complete this, this task, we get a sense of completion and we can move on to the next step. This, just as a, as a parenthesis, this is why I don't believe in tests when you are studying a language or any subject. Because as soon as a person takes a test, the test is seen as, as an impediment, is seen as a barrier that this person needs to overcome. And then as soon as this step is behind the person, the person can forget everything. Because like, okay, I've done it, so now I don't need to worry about it anymore. And this is especially false in language learning because language is not a set of equations that, that you learn and then you have something completely new and no. Language accumulates. It is said that a competent speaker needs 3,000 words to communicate, to communicate effectively. However, a fluent speaker, a person who can talk about a variety of topics and who can rephrase complex structures, this person needs 20,000 words. 
So you can't let it let go of something that that you've already learned just because you took a test. You can't ignore it. You need to carry it with you to the next step. So returning to to Zigarnik, the Zigarnik effect. How does this effect improve productivity? So as I, as I said before, we experience uh, bad thoughts, intrusive thoughts about uncompleted tasks. So the key to productivity is working in focused periods of time. Avoid multitasking and avoid disruptions. Getting a task done means peace of mind, while the intrusive thoughts mean that you experience anxiety when leaving a task unfinished to focus on something else. So if you start studying for something, if you start uh, trying to speak that sentence, if you start trying to create that dialogue, don't give up. If you start learning English, go all the way to the end. Go through this, this barrier. But when you get to the final part, don't stop. Keep learning. Keep Keep in contact with the language. Don't let go of everything you've already learned. When you multitask, you are diverting your attention from one task to another. So the new task is an interruption. Your brain won't allow you to fully focus on the new task because you have left the previous one uncompleted. Another key element is adapting the time spent on focused work to the task at hand. Some tasks will require longer periods of focused work, work than others, like uh, learning a language. Well, my suggestion is that you focus 15 to 30 minutes a day without interruptions, without multitasking, just May, you, you may practice your speaking by repeating something, some video. You may practice your listening by uh, listening to, to a TV show, by watching a TV show, and uh, understanding what the people there are speaking. You can put subtitles. First, you can watch without subtitles, and then subtitles in your language. Or the opposite, you can start watching with subtitles in your language, then watch again, having removed the subtitles. So the good news for procrastinators, if you are already enrolled in an English course, do not quit. The Zigarnik effect means good news for you. You are less likely to procrastinate once you actually start your task. You are more inclined to finish something if you start it. It may seem obvious, like if I, if I want to, to finish something, then, of course, I have to start it. So, what kind of procrastinator are you? If you procrastinate because you're faced with a big project, don't think about starting with the hardest part. Start with what seems manageable in the moment. You will be more likely to finish the task simply because of one thing, because you started. So the key to beating procrastination is starting somewhere, anywhere. And your reward at the end of this will be to have completed the task. So this is the Zigarnik effect. Um, I'm going to leave some links in the description. And uh, if you have any questions, you can send me a, a message here. Or you can send me an email at alvscoza, that's A-L-V-S-C-O-R-Z-A, at gmail.com.